said, yeah, I'll be the door. Awesome job, Sister Vanessa. Yeah. Amen. How many like to win prizes? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I love to win prizes. <laughs> and next we have a we're going to have a free giveaway. Amen. Do y'all have the names all in the bags? Come on, give me some. I was good, y'all. Amen. All the time. <laughs> I thank you for my name.
for you to be healed, you got to believe it. Yes. You got to believe that you're going to be healed. Yes, God. When we go out asking people to pray for us, it's all right for people to pray, but are you praying too? Yes. 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 And when you pray, just know that you're healed. Yes, you got to trust God that he's going to heal you. Yes, God. When you're praying, say, Lord, I'm healed. Yes. I am healed. Yes, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I am healed. I am healed. Sometimes you gotta lay hands on yourself. Hallelujah. All we got to do is lay hands on ourselves. All right, now Yes, God. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. My children are healed in the name of Jesus.
But right now we all came out. 
give our hand that so much about her <laughs> but she resides in Warner Robins, Georgia she's the daughter of four she has three grandkids and a granddog, Marley <laughs> she need to put some oil on him <laughs> one thing she would like you guys to know if she, if she had to tell anything about herself, she's a woman of God who loves God people uh, she loves to give, even her time. Um, I can truly say there's not a time or a day that goes by when anybody calls, she doesn't pick up the phone. Amen. She set herself aside for those, even when she's going through. Yes. Not because of her, because of who she is in God Amen. and because of her care for God's people. But I tell you this, sit down. Buckle your seatbelt because she's going to take you on a ride. When God pours into her, she pours out to his people and she takes you on a journey. Sometimes she may step on your toes or she may even poke you in the side. But know that it's all in love and it's because she wants God's people to walk in his service and in their purpose. I print to, present to some and introduce to others my pastor, Yolanda Franklin, a.k.a. Pastor Yo. And just depressed or, or anything about this election, about the COVID. But how many of you know with God on your side? Amen. There's nothing that you can do. Amen. 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 If it had not been.
I'm just going, let's do this. Let's do this. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be coming from Luke, the 17th chapter. I'm going to read it real, real quick. We're going to come from Luke, the 17th chapter, starting at the 11th verse. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We bless God. We bless God for Shepherd House. Yes. Being in here, we bless God for the angel of this house, Pastor Thomas and his wife. Amen. The angels. I just let me tell y'all something about these. Uh, I, I I watch y'all. <laughs> I, I watch every move y'all make. When you at Olive Garden, I'm there. <laughs> when you at Golden, when you at Golden Crown, or, or uh, what is it, Old Time, I'm there. When you when you when you're here at Mount Zion, I'm here. I, I watch every move that you make in the world that come out of the profound words that come out of the mouth of you two. I'm telling you, I, I eat it up every day. I wake up and I'm like, he pumped, has he pumped? Yeah, because he used it. Y'all look usually early, about five, four, five o'clock, and I already got my morning coffee sitting there. I don't even drink coffee, but this is the kind of coffee that make, I'm telling you, it'll wake you up, get your eyes all perky, and get some caffeine in your body, and get you to go in that word. Amen. We bless God. We bless God for you so much. We love you so much. Amen. And to my friend, Angela, we bless God for you being on this platform. And bless you, woman of God. You know I love you and your husband, um, Pastor Corey. Amen. Stubbs. Amen. We love you guys. And the musicians, everybody that makes up this great congregation, thank you, Marilyn, for that for that introduction to my uh, the Shepherd House that's representing. Amen. We love you. Amen. They drove all the way out here. Amen. We praise God. And we didn't get lost this time. Amen. I know where you're at now. Look, I'm not good with direction, but I know where you're at now. Amen. But Luke, the, 11th, the 17th chapter. Amen. And the 11th verse. We're going to read the word. Let's, if, you, if it's your custom to stand, please stand for the word of God. Amen. Amen. 17th chapter and 11th verse. It says, And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem, he was going somewhere else, that he passed through the midst, not through Samaria, but the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Amen. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were leopards, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show thyselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were what? Healed. They were cleansed. They were made whole. Amen. Well, they were cleansed. Amen. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he actually took notice of where he was. Amen. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but he did. Turn back and went with a loud voice. Glorify God, amen, and fell on his face and his feet, giving him thanks, and his and he was a Samaritan, amen. And Jesus answered, saying, Where, 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 were there not ten cleansed, but where, where are the nine, amen? Were there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? They are not found. That return to give what? Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So say this stranger. And he said unto them. He said unto him. This is Jesus talking to the man. Arise. Go thy way. Thy faith. Amen. Just like the woman we talked about earlier. Has made thee whole. Just like that's uh, White just spoke about. About our faith making us completely whole. Amen. Amen. If I can just uh, pause for a minute. I'm going to use the topic. Praise God is already done. Amen. 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 Father God, we just thank you and we praise you, God. Oh, God, I ask right now, Lord God, that oh, you are already in the midst, God. Oh, God, you've already shifted the atmosphere in such a way that we can suck with you easily at the table, Lord God. Thank you, God, for just, oh, God, making a way out of no way. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us your word, Lord God, in season and out of season, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for opening up the hearts and the minds to be able to receive what you have for them, on for us on today, Lord God. We thank you. We do not count it lightly to be able to get before your people, God. So we thank you, Lord God. As I decrease, Lord God, let you increase, Lord God. Lord God, remove Yolanda out the way and let them see a 
vessel that's want to just be used by you, God. Lord God, we know that this word is going to go out in return, not void unto us, Lord God. We know that it's going to accomplish that which you've already performed in the atmosphere, Lord God. And it's going to manifest itself, Lord God, today in Yatesville, Georgia, at Mount Zion Baptist Church under the leadership of Pastor and First Lady Thomas. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I want to read this though. I mean, we were looking, and I got to read it out of the three amplified, well, four amplified versions. Amen. That is our, our scripture, Isaiah, the 53rd chapter in the fifth verse, because this is going to break down where we're going as far as our story is concerned. Isaiah 50, 53 and 5 says, but he was wounded in the King James Version for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his strikes we are already healed. Amen. The NIV version breaks it down a little bit more. He said, but he was was pierced. Amen. And, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For our transgressions. Uh -huh. He was crushed. Yes, uh -huh. For our iniquities. That means that he was crushed. He was pressed down. He was, he, they, they left him for dead. Amen. The things that he had to go through. The punishment. The punishment that brought us peace. Amen. The things that he had to endure just for us to get this feeling. That's why we can't just sit down with God. Because the punishment that he had to endure. Y'all yes, know how I felt when you was on punishment, when you couldn't go outside. You were sitting out looking at all your friends wanting to go out and play. And your mama said, no, you got to sit up there and rest back, clean the whole house, scrub the baseboard. Do what I said. You know how punishment feels. That ain't the kind of punishment I'm talking about. The kind of punishment I'm talking about that he did for our healing. They put a crown of thorns yes. on his head. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. They pierced him in his side until water and blood came out. Uh huh. Uh huh. They put nails in his hands and his feet to be able to not have any movement. To be, oh my God, Jesus. To be able to feel everything that they were gonna put. All oh, that he done just for. Yes, yes. Us. Amen. So the the the, the punishment that brought us peace was on him. And, and by his wounds, not by the act, y'all gotta catch this, not by what they did, but by the, the residue, Lord Jesus. By the, by the after effect, by, by the, by the, 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 the bruises. Y'all have y'all ever had a whooping from your mama and she left a little bruise on your, y'all know now we're going to jail for it. But back then, they, I'm telling you now, see y'all can't help it. Jesus, it was that kind of wound that 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 we are healed right now. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the amplified version says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our, our wickedness, our wickedness, our sin, our injustice, our wrongdoing. All of that is wrapped up and tied up and tangled up into what God has already done. So we don't have to walk around like we ain't already healed. We ain't got to walk around that we ain't already delivered. We ain't walk around like we already, we already got the power that we need to walk up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm going to get out of your way. And the message Bible, this is the one that I love the most. It says, but I love all of them, but this is one that broke it down. It says, but our sins that, that, that did, uh, that did to him, that ripped and tore and crushed him, our sins, our sins, the things that we did, uh-huh, he took the punishment and he made us whole, y'all. I'm going somewhere, y'all, y'all stay with me. So his bruised, he, we get healed, though he was 